waterproofing. This light is USB rechargeable. You can see right here we have our USB charging port. And it does have a switch cover or a boot there, I mean. And but the thing is is I've noticed that it's very easy to accidentally bump that loose. You know, it will stay in there, but because that sticks out just a little bit if it's in your pocket or something that comes comes loose. Nightcore claims this is waterproof to IPX8 standard, submergible, even with that cover loose. So I thought, why don't we try it out? Welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at the Nightcore MH12 GTS. It is a dual switch light with a removable grip ring, the smooth reflector and Cree XHP35 high density, does come with a lanyard, a removable pocket clip, and is USB rechargeable. Okay, quick shout out to Nightcore as they did send me this light for review. Thank you for that. Um, for the review, we're going to start in a different place today than what we usually do with the user interface because that is absolutely a key feature on this light in my mind. Okay, how this works is really simple. We have our rear tail switch that gives us on, off and nothing else, only on off. This front switch is for our modes. We get five of them. Low, medium, high, higher, and turbo. Whatever we leave this on here, when we shut the light off, that's what we get when it comes back on. This will never change your modes. In my mind, that makes it an actual tactical flashlight. Everybody says their lights are tactical, but if, you know, we get nothing but on, off from this very easy to locate tail switch. Now, aside from our five regular modes, uh, there are some things that we can access. The, to get to the blinkies, you go double click, and there's our strobe. And from there, if you press and hold, we can go to SOS and uh, Beacon. And we'll go one more press and we're back to strobe. Now watch this. Off. And we're, we, can, we can even save the strobe, which I think is awesome. Guys ask me all the time, is there anything I can get? that gives me instant access to strobe. Now the answer is yes, you can. This will memorize any of the modes, which I think is phenomenal. I mean, we we don't have to have them here. You can cycle all your regular modes and never see the blinky stuff, but if we want them, it'll memorize that too. I thought that was awesome. Um, that's the simple stuff if you want to get creative um, it'll give you instant access to the moonlight also if you press and hold here and then kick that on instant access there um, it and it won't change what you've got memorized we can just still go right back to what we had memorized there uh, one last thing that we have is if you if you want to use that right there for, uh, say you're on one of the lower modes and you want instant access to turbo, you can press and hold this and it jumps to turbo and you let off and you go back. Uh, basically, I think Nightcore nailed it with that user interface. I really like it. Um, there is one other light that has a similar user interface we've talked about, and that is Ace Beam L16. 
Uh, you can see it, it also has the, you know, on off tail cap, which I like. Uh, but the Night Core is not only shorter, but it's smaller at the head, so it is more pocket carryable to me. Also, the lumen output is very similar. The claimed lumen output for the uh, Ace Beam L16 is 2000 lumens. For the Night Core, it's uh, 1800 is the claimed lumen output. And I tested them both, and thus saith calibrated lumen tube. The MH12 did 1410 out the front lumens, and Ace Beam L16 did 1537. So they're within, you know, a handful of lumens of each other. Um, sustainability. Uh, both do have a temperature sensor, so uh, I ran them, and on the turbo setting, um, MH12 ran about three minutes, and L16 ran about six. I say about because, you know, there's other factors, ambient temperature, things like that. Both of them settled to almost exactly the same amount. Um, after the timer was settled, I got... Um, 613 from L16 and 603 from the MH12. So just almost dead even right there. Um, on on the it, it is a temperature sensor, so anytime it gets too hot, you'll have that. The turbo mode and the high mode both did settle eventually. It just took longer on the high mode to the 600 lumen sustainable. Uh, beam quality. This is another definite plus. Okay, white wall test. For our beam, I see perfectly round hot spot. Um, base, no corona in this. Definitely no ringiness. Um, the camera makes it look like there's a tiny bit around the very edge, but it's pretty smooth. Um, for the color, I see mostly a very pure white with possibly a very slight lean toward maybe purple or pink. Um, hopefully the camera's seeing the same thing. And no green that I can see, just you know, basically a nice white and not any real weird colors even around the edges. While we're waiting on that, why don't we look at some beam shots. I really like how large the hot spot on the slide is. It blends really well with the spill, but still gives you good range. Now let's have a look at Ace Beam L16. Now, Nightcore MH12 GTS.
Okay, time to see what we've got. We're still on. Everything looks pretty good, really. Had that boot open the whole time. Okay, now basically all I've done so far is just towel to dry this off. Um, I want to see what it looks like on the inside. See if it's wet. Definitely is a little bit around there, but that's okay. Um, we're dry here, it looks like. I don't see any water that got up in the tail cap, so that's good. Looks like nothing. I can see a bead of water around here, but not really uh, anything that got up past the threads. Our battery's dry. It did come with one, but I, I've just got a different one in there. It came with a Nightcore cell. bone dry on the inside so that's good here in a minute after that's had a second to dry there we'll plug it in and see what happens and here doth the rubber meet the road well no magic smoke so Looks like we should be good to go. Well, it looks like in our bucket of water challenge, uh, the Unite Core seems to have won. Everything's still good, so I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and good lucks.